Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about witchcraft and music songs of the entertainment world. Witchcraft and music songs in the entertainment world for people to idolize these celebrities. Okay. And what bring me to this is that um, a lot of people are overhyping celebrities. And what they overhype it are witches, okay? Um, a lot of them are kind of, uh, how can I say it? Influenced, strongly influenced by the spells that these witchcraft, these witches, I mean, that these witches have put upon them. Okay, if you look at people that are fans of these celebrities, you can see a overhyping of them, okay? The, the, the fans overhype these celebrities to the point where they look at them as gods and goddesses. Now, when you look at these celebrities, you know for a fact they have sold their soul. So they're nowhere near gods and goddesses. Practically, it's heeding to another god that they should not be heeding to, okay? So... These people overhype these celebrities to the point where they look at them as gods and goddesses because of their dance or their singing. And they don't understand their singing and their dance is full of witchcraft because of who they worship in, who they're idolizing. Of course, you do have the Illuminati fan base that do support their wicked people, okay? But we're not talking about them. We already know about the Church of Satan, the Church of People, Church of Satan that these people are um, worshiping their own. But we're talking about the ones that are strongly influenced by the singing and the dancing of these idols, and they overhype them to the where they look at them as gods. And these people are actually sold out. You know, they practically must sold out. Like, really, sold out. <laughs> so, what they overhype in is witches, okay? It's just witches in the game. I should put that as the title, because they are overhyping witches, right? So, in the word it says, First John 5, verse 21, it says, Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. And then, First, 15, uh, first Samuel 15, verse 23 says, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he has also rejected thee from being king. So, idolatry is very big in the entertainment world. Um, a lot of people have succumbed to it, to where they are overhyping witches. Okay, and I'm gonna show y'all in the on the internet. Okay. On the internet, there is some links I'm going to show you, okay, about the lyrics on how these people over, um, actually, I overhyping witches. They overhyping witches because these witches are casting spells in their music to get these people to overhype. Okay, I'm going to give y'all, I'm going to give y'all instance. I'm going to give y'all a example. I was a young child in my day where I was going to middle to high school at this school I was going to. And the kids at this middle to high school will always tease me, okay? They would tease me, pick fun, of course, like all kids do, right? But I saw a certain change, okay? When Michelle Williams from Destiny Child, Michelle Williams is actually anorexic. Okay, the person is actually anorexic. I mean, something ain't right with it. Okay, but they overhyped it. The same children that tease me or tease anybody else overhype this celebrity to the point where they thought it was the most beautifulest thing they ever seen. To the point I'm looking at it as something ain't right with it. Okay, I can tell by this person is something ain't right with it. It's not normal. 
Okay, what they overhyping is not normal. Okay, so I'm looking at everybody overhyping and glorifying this thing like it was the best thing they have ever seen. And I'm like to myself, I don't want this person autographed because I was a person on the honor roll that I didn't want to get this. You know, people on the honor roll can get this celebrity autograph. I didn't want it because I look like I'm looking at something that I was being deceived by. Okay. Fully deceived by. And it didn't look right. It didn't look right. It, didn't, it looked like it was out of touch. Something was not right with Michelle Williams. Okay. So... I asked one of the t boys that teased me and other kids, did you not see something wrong with it? That boy said, oh, yeah, but it's still beautiful, though. It said, oh, yeah, but yet it's still beautiful, though, to where it did not want to talk bad about it, okay? Didn't want to say it was something wrong with it, okay? Now, me, I know for a fact something ain't right in that industry okay i've seen these celebrities in person i've met some and i know the ropes of where how to get in there so these people are not all there in the head they're not all there saved they all sold out to satan they all doing evil and wickedness so i know these people ain't all right but these people are over hyping wickedness the fans here these stands here are over hyping witches in the game to get these people to overhype. The witches is casting spells to get these people to overhype them. To the point where they can't say no wrong about them. Okay? That's 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 where it's that's where it's going on down at. Okay. So I'm gonna show you how they doing this. They casting spells in their songs so people can over idolize them. Okay. So let me go to here. Let's go here. It's very it's very bizarre on how they treat these idols. Okay. I'm gonna say it like it is. Okay. Witchcraft spells to be a pop singer. Okay. Now I'm going to go in. Let's see which one I want to go in. This one here brief history of witchcraft and music okay just in time for halloween the most not noteworthy riches in modern music as icons of the occult which is known with a shadow of presence from your suggestion one can conjure a great song okay so you can obviously see i might leave that link below how they not but witches in the music music industry okay they do look Sonic Coven of Source and my research reveals long long standing parallel between songwriting and pageant chants. Pageant chants in the songs. Okay? To get these people to over idolize these people as gods. Okay? The witches are literally doing that. Getting these people to over idolize people as gods. Okay? Of course, you'll see. Um, some more say 20 best songs about magic uh, and other stuff like that, right? Little mixed black magic. These, these are all witches. The people in the industry are all witches. And these men and women are over idolizing witches in the industry. Okay. So let's go back. Go back, go to this one. Now, this is supposed to be a recent singer named Destiny Rogers. I know y'all probably heard this recent singer. What got me about her is that she did an interview. And the interview struck me when she said she wanted to be famous. Now, you know, in order to be famous, you got to sell your soul, right? So this is my prime example. She said she wanted to be famous. She wanted to have fans. She wanted she wanted that life. Okay, it's not really a life though. It's really selling your soul for death. So she wanted that 
let's say she wanted to walk that wrong path, okay? And I said to myself, oh my God, Satan is just getting souls after souls after souls after souls. Just literally getting them, right? So I'm going to show you her lyrics, okay? Let's see. I'm going to go down. Right here. Look what it says. I don't like pressure like this. Been so long since I felt this. Yeah. If I don't do this now, I might quit. I'm just hella, hella scared of it. Yeah. Because which you? Which you, baby? I'm addicted to your magic. There you go. Okay. They use a lot of witch magic in their lyrics <laughs> and it's very bizarre i'm telling you guys it's very bizarre how these fans men and women over hyping celebrities like they the best thing they have ever seen because furthermore these people they over hyping are just people that sold out in the industry and are witches okay and only thing that's that created the heavens and the earth, and the only thing that's a God is Jesus Christ. Okay? But no, these people are being looked at as gods and goddesses, and these are witches. Pretty much. So, let me go ahead to the next. Okay. Okay, like Black Pink K-pop witchcraft. So, you can see... In their ideas, they do a lot of witchcraft in their songs. Okay. See? So, you know, it's really bizarre to be, um, how can I say it? Be over-idolizing people. Because these, let me tell you, it's only for the weak-minded. The people that are over idolizing these celebrities, these spells are working on them. Okay? I mean, they 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 so hooked on the celebrities to the point where they're looking at them as gods and want to marry them. Okay? Or they want to get with them and want to hang with them, be friends with them, uh, think they the coolest thing that hit planet Earth. That kind of stuff. This this is tip this is real rich craft. And it's working on the weak-minded. Okay, it's these people that are sucking in to idolize and overhype celebrities are weak-minded. Very weak-minded. Yes, I said it. <laughs> Y'all weak-minded. Y'all rather to have these witches bewitch you with their songs and their lyrics and their dancing. And y'all not waking up from it. Y'all rather to call them gods and goddesses knowing they did not create your soul. Yeah, I said it. Y'all weak-minded. <laughs> A lot of you are. Y'all not strong in the mind and the spirit to not know, to get, not to sink into these witches. Y'all weak-minded. I said it. Okay. Now... I'm going to go here. Okay. Beyonce Lemonade Singer brings wonderful witchcraft healing powers. Okay. One person said, do Beyonce, Rihanna cast spells with their lyrics? So let me see. I wanted to go in. Let me see. Look, Empire Cast, Black Girl Magic. Magic is all about witchcraft. I hope y'all understand that. Um, we already know about the the, the 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 drummer said that Beyonce cast a spell on her. She was not lying. Okay, so whoever trying to act like she was all dumb, found it. News. All, let me tell you about those news people. They, they heed to the higher ups of the satanic world. So when they try to make somebody act like they crazy for telling the truth, just be just just be weary about what they saying because they liars. They gonna lie for the big uppers. Now she was telling the truth, this drama. Okay, all them fools in there are witches. All of them. Okay, 
All of them witches. Now, <laughs> this here, Beyonce Lemonade. See how they say it's green? This is the type of stuff. See? Go down. Beyonce. The witch is a symbol of womanhood. Ah! So you can see this, right? So they are literally using witchcraft in their songs. Okay, we already should know this though. But what gets me though is the over idolizing of these witches. Okay, this fan base is very sick. I said it. The fan base of these people are sick minded, they lustful, they sick minded. Um, they rather to worship and idolize witches rather than to serve the creator. That is sad. That's how weak-minded these people on this YouTube is. Okay? Very sad indeed to worship witches before the creator. Yeah, y'all weak-minded. I said it again. So, people, do not serve idols. Do not give in to witches. In the industry of the celebrity world. Do not give in to witches in the politician world. Do not give in to witches of prophets of Baal. Because all of them serve Satan before the creator. Who created all of us. The one who created us is Jesus Christ. The one who gave us a soul. Yeah. So people. I advise you to serve this word here. Stop idolizing witches in the industry, people. Y'all sound sick. Okay? Every time I see some, some man or some woman idolizing celebrities like they the best thing. Oh, they gods and goddesses. What? Did they create you? No, they did not. You weak-minded fools. Yes, I said it. People, serve the creator. For Jesus Christ is the only God we shall serve. Jesus Christ is God.